Hi guys, today I am showing you my vegetable garden, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Woodshed Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos several times a week. Click the like, click the like. It's been very requested that I show you my vegetable garden for the year. I think it's finally at a place where I'm ready to show you. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not meant to be. So I thought it might be fun to go through what I've planted this year, what's going well, what's not going well, and just kind of give you a June update. Maybe we could do an update in a few months when things are really big. But right now, I'm just happy that everything is planted and growing and all set for the long growing season here. And it's my first year where I think I'm actually gonna produce some of everything, so I'm excited. Without further ado. Okay, well this is my favorite bed. As you can see, I've created a trellis over it, a trellised arch, and that is made from lattice, what do they call it? Ladder mesh, there we go. That's made from ladder mesh, and I also have some things in there for support. And the cross beams are all sticks from our property. And I cannot wait for this to be completely full of plants. I am so excited for that. So let's see what's inside of this bed. The star of the show is my loofah. It is finally starting to take off. I don't have it in a place where it gets enough sun, I think, but I'm scared to move it now. So it's staying there. I also have some other loofahs who got started over here later and also got more eaten by the bugs. So I've been using diatomaceous earth since then and it seems like things are going well. In the middle here is a spaghetti squash. I planted that a few weeks ago and it's growing in nicely. Then I have my herbs, which I just put several of these in this week so they're not looking amazing. But we've got oregano, and parsley, Italian parsley. That is starting to get a little crispy, which I was shocked about, so I'll definitely have to figure that out. In back of that, I have cilantro, and then these are two kinds of basil, the purple basil and the sweet basil, I believe. Then that is a French lavender that I decided to plant in this box because it is a great pollinator magnet. There's bees on it all the time. So I'm happy that I did that because it kind of spreads the bees around. Over here are, oh wow, look. What happened there? Did it not get watered? That's what happens when your hose breaks, I guess. Um, I've got some bush beans growing up right here and they seem to be doing awesome except I don't know when that happened, but uh, they're just bush beads. I think they're possibly the yellow pencil beans. A friend gave me some seeds. Oh, I forgot to mention the chives over here. That's another herb that I have. Here's a strawberry plant that has been in this planter since we arrived and has survived. So I've transplanted it out and transplanted it back in so it can just live out its life right there. On the corners here and here are bottle gourds, or sorry, well, they're birdhouse gourds. So they're meant to be shaped like a birdhouse once they're done and you can turn them into a bunch of things. And then in the middle there is a, in the middle there is an acorn squash. So that's just getting started too. So that's that pretty little garden bed and I love coming out and looking at it and checking on it all the time. So that one is going well. Okay, here is my next bed. 
and it's another one of my small planter beds. I did a smaller arch on this one. And then this right here, this large hoop was scrap on the property. It belongs to, it's assumingly a tie for a huge barrel. And I have put it up in my garden bed and wrapped it in wire and it's currently growing my cucumbers very well. So I've just been using stuff around the house to kind of build everything up, build up my gardening collection and it's going well. Let's check this bed out. This is the cucumber zone and I've got a cucumber here and over there on that end as well. And those are lemon cucumbers. So they turn out like a basically like a yellow baseball. We've got three other cucumber plants here that my friend gave me. Let's see. You can see there that there's a baby coming in there and they're supposed to be spineless cucumbers. So we'll see about that. Then here, all of these came in one set and I even gave some away. I have large zucchini plants and we're just getting our first zucchini of the year pollinated. Very exciting. So that's just basic green zucchini. Back here is, I believe it's called, is it patty pan squash? The ones that's shaped like a UFO. This one's called like sunshine or something because it's yellow. Uh, it's not growing as fast as some of the other stuff, but we have a long growing season here, so I think it's going to be fine. And then right over here, well, you can actually kind of see them growing in. Those yellow bits there, that is yellow squash. My friend gave me some of those as well. Oh, it's windy today. Then in these corners here and here are climbing green beans and they'll climb over the arch. And I started those from seed as well. They're doing great. This is my large garden bed and I have filled it up for the first time. Seems to be going well. It's mostly pumpkins on one side and tomatoes, eggplants on the other. And it seems like the everything has taken off all right. I've been fertilizing once a week, watering twice a day, get things going nice and strong. And I did buy some of these tomatoes. Some of the cherry tomatoes were given to me, but they're all doing really well. It's so windy today. This right here is a Japanese eggplant in Ichiban. Is that how you say it? And I just started growing. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. That's my first. Ichiban eggplant growing in, so that's exciting. The other eggplant I have is over here, and that's a white star eggplant, so it actually looks like eggs. That has started flowering, but no white eggplants yet. A bunch of these are the cherry tomatoes. I think my friend gave me six volunteer cherry tomato plants, and all six of them have grown beautifully. You can see that we already have fruits growing in. This big tomato here is a black crim tomato. Nothing has grown on it yet as far as fruit, but I got it when it was about six inches tall and now it's about three feet tall. So it's coming along nicely. This guy I should have uh, broken up because I feel like it's more than one plant and that's why it's not as big yet. But you live and learn, I suppose. It's called a Mr. Stripey tomato and I think it's got yellow stripes on it. Nothing yet there either. There's some more cherry tomatoes there. They're just getting started for the year. So here, here, and here I have banana peppers, and this one is our biggest one so far. This came in one pot. I separated it out into three plants, and they're covered in banana peppers. All right there, and all right there. 
So I'm really excited about that. I also planted marigolds in here to help keep pests away and they bloomed and haven't bloomed since. So I don't know if I should keep them or do you get rid of them? How does that work? Send help. I did throw in some spaghetti squash here and then I did acorn squash as well. Unfortunately, I don't think the acorn squash here is gonna make it just for some reason I split them up and not every plant made it but I think I will get some spaghetti squash from here. Then finally we move on to our pumpkins, my pride and joy. You know, I was worried I was gonna lose them all. This is a baby bear pumpkin, so a miniature or smaller pumpkin, kind of what you get at the toddler section of a pumpkin patch. And there's one there, one in the corner, you can't really see it now, and there's one in the middle and they all took off just fine. Then along the back there are two of Dill's Gigantic Atlantic Pumpkin, and I got them as starters as well. I think I got all of them as starters this time, and I just germinated one of them, so we'll see if it grows. Hopefully it's got enough room back there to really spread out. And then finally, this is my baby. I keep checking it every day. It's a Cinderella pumpkin, which is a French variety. And, dun 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 dun. That's my pumpkin that's growing. I'm so excited. Every day it gets bigger and I get more excited to come and check it like three times a day. But it really is growing, which is exciting for me because last year I tried to grow pumpkins and I got leaves and I worked really hard on it but I don't know if it was too late in the year or whatever, nothing grew. So this is my first pumpkin that I'm growing. And that is my bigger garden bed. So pumpkins, tomatoes. Well, I told you that wasn't gonna be very exciting, but it's been exciting for me because I really enjoy gardening and I've been learning a lot about how to take care of these plants and get them to produce fruit. So for me, it's been a very grounding and fun experience. And I can't wait to learn how to do more things and grow more things. But right now I think I need to like stop and just focus on learning what I'm growing now. I also just got a blue butterfly pea plant and I'm not exactly sure where to plant it yet so that I can make blue butterfly tea. So yeah, there's just a lot going on and there's a lot planted. What have you planted this year? I'd love to hear from you. So many of you have reached out and told me about your gardens and what you're growing. We have a super long growing season here. So even though some things don't get as much sun as I would like, I know that we have the sun and the time to grow everything just fine. And I prefer the plants to be in a little bit of shade anyway, because the sun gets like baking hot here. So I'm, I'm happy that it's set up the way that it's set up. I hope you enjoyed. What was your favorite thing? What are you most excited about growing? Mine's obviously the Cinderella pumpkin that's growing right now. I've been checking it a few times a day and I tried not to because it's, I'm not gonna notice growth a few times a day. But every morning I wake up, I go out and check it, and it's grown. So, fingers crossed, in a few weeks, months, we will have a beautiful pumpkin that I can stare at on my porch. That's all I want. All right, guys, thank you for coming along with me. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.